Well, hello everybody. It's me again, back with another tutorial on PHP RAD. And in this tutorial, what we'll be looking at, we'll be looking at basic understanding of PHP RAD because I figured that most of the guys out there they don't really know what what really happens where, what happens where. So I'm gonna try and explain a little bit of everything in PHP. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a project, and let's call this. Uh, Lad systems okay so that's our project right now and let's create a database and call it rads okay and create that and you want to use uh, any uh, whichever you want you can use SQLite both green and also my SQL my SQL so our database is created we can also use font awesome material icon simple line but let me just go with font awesome so create that and now what we really need to do is that we just need to know what we're going to do so what i want to create right now i just want to create something very simple and uh, let's just call these users we'll use this for login so let's have name then let's have uh, email down here then let's have uh, password then let's also have uh, uh, what do we call this? Let's have uh, photo. Okay, so in the password here, you don't really have to do an, a confirm password, the same will do that automatically for you. So you have ID, name, name, email, password, photo. Okay, so save that. G. All right. So we have this, you can try and check it out. So we have that. And now let's just go here back here and let's try and create another table. And maybe let's call this table as posts. Okay, so we want to create a table called posts. So let's have a headline. Then let's have something, uh, don't worry about that. Let's have a headline. Let's also have something like the title. Then let's have the category. And also let's have something like the now the content here and let's have the other okay so for the other we just make this simple and maybe we can have the status here okay so what we want to do is that we need another table called uh, categories in this category table this is a category table so we'll be having the name of the category here so create that we want to create that so you see we have categories table and also we have the post table so in this table you see we don't really have that so you just have to click here and then you see we don't really have the table we created i don't know what it is i guess it's a bug so let's try and create that again this time do it twice so that uh, you can save everything all at once so let's go back and we have there yeah, they have the name so what we really want is let's first preview this preview that all right let's see all right so this is what we really we actually have here so we have the users we have also have the categories so let's try and add a new category here and let's call this uh, uh so this programming and we have to submit that so let's go that successfully so we have programming and also let's try and add this to post so add a new post here you see we have a headline so you can put this uh, as hello there then for the title you can put uh, how to work with php red okay so for the category here it's really what we actually want to do with the category we want to fetch data from the categories table so we're just going to make this a lookup table now this is the content we also need to add some html editor icons here and for the status, we also need to add a drop down for whether it's published or not published. Okay. So, what we want to do is that we want to go back here 
and then you need to click on the table that you are going to be adding lookup table so in this case we'll be adding post in post for the post table then you want to click on add because what we want to do is that when we are adding we want that table to be a lookup table whenever we be adding everything so take note of that so in the categories table we want to make this the lookup table from to look up data from another table so you want to come here and click on select then go to option list data source and then you're going to click there then you just need to click on data table then just select category because we want to search, search fetch from the categories table so click on that order by id and then you're going to do a descent or you can just leave it like that so click on okay so that's it we also need to have a status whereby it's we are going to put us as published or not published so then again go ahead and click on select go down back at option list data source then you just have to enter a value and then you're going to do publish then not published or you can just set this to draft okay so there we go now click on okay so we want to see that these are the data table uh, a lookup table and also there's a lookup table so on the content here we want this to be something we can light blog put put some stuff there all right so what we want to do let me first show you how we are going to be looking at this right now. So you see, we have the categories table here, so you can look it up. And then remember, we made programming over there. So we also added this, so we can also say it is a draft or published. So what we want here, we want this to be a lookup table to fetch name from the author. And also we want this to be a content table. All right. So let's go back to pages on add page also let's go to get content here then you're going to keep it as a text area like that right there you can just put it to a text area and also we need to use html editor so set that to true then let's go back down there and uh, refresh that see so now we, we actually have this so you can actually extend this and maybe you can add uh, some of these things so hello yes yeah, so there we go we have everything there you can add a picture anything like that so let's go back here and let's add a new user let's try and add a new user here so let's go and put it to a home let's go and put on an email at uh, email at email .com. let's go and put as see we have a confirm password already and let's drop a photo here okay so we have that and let's just upload that and submit okay so we have that so what we actually want to do is that we want to remove this and also we want to make uh, the category is table here. We also need to make uh, another category, the post table. What we want is that we want to make that, we want to make this enter other look up from the list of users we have. So this is definitely not how you'll be doing, but I just want to put across the point of making lookup tables. So let's go to others here. Let's go to select as usual. Let's go to option list data then data table and then you're going to be using users table we want them to view by name so by id all right so let's go back here and as you can see we have the enter out there we have home there we have so now what we actually want to do is that we want to hide this we don't want even the admin to view the password so what we want to view is that we just need the admin to view the name and the email so what you just do you go to pages here let's go to users and we need to, whenever we are we are looking at the list page whenever it's listed we don't want to see the id we don't want to see the password we just need the photo and the email and the name all right so just uncheck that Let's go back and preview this. 
and there we go we don't actually have this and maybe you can actually try this in the view page in the list page let's go to photo here and let's try and make this to a 350 350 there let's preview this and we'll be having a bigger image there so in case you're working on products and you just need a bigger image there you just have to change there all right so let's go let's go now let's do something else and uh so in case you just need to edit things here you just have to do all that and now you see now that we'll be, we are working with icons over here so we're working with icons what we want to do is that we want to change that and uh let's make that uh, into a custom list okay so you already have a custom list instead of a tabular list okay so all right so let's go down here and let's change some things instead of icons let's make this to a drop down and also let's go to users and also make it into a drop down all right so we don't have to want to see this so see we have a drop down now so you can just edit everything there right so close that as you can see for the user we don't see the id name there we just see the name and the email so now let's try and uh make a two let's change let's change this and put it on the side here let's change the menu bar and put it on the side so you just need to do a fixed top as okay fixed top left okay then you just have to reload that all right all right don't worry about that menu configuration static left okay all right that's a new one that's really a new one yeah there we go so now we have the home we also have the users the categories and everything like that so let's now and try let's try adding some icons on the left side here so you just have to click on menu configuration click on home and then just go and pick up an icon here let's look for a dashboard let's change the size to let's put it to three yeah let's set it to three there let's go to users here let's pick users all right let's go to categories here let's go let's pick sitemap and let's go to post here and let's see product and then we load the changes see we have that pretty awesome right so what we want to do next is that we just need to drag some stuff here and then maybe we can work I don't know if we, are, uh, we can also try and make a login system so let's go ahead and uh, let's drag this okay so let's go and see we have categories here categories table And we also need to add a post to over there. Alright. So preview this. There we have it. So now let's change some stylings here inside here. So we want to change to from zoom in and maybe rubber band. And uh, let's change the style here and maybe make it to uh, success. We kind of short description here and say these uh, categories. Okay, so we don't want to make the progress bar, and let's change this icon to sitemap. Let's turn that back to two. Right, so we want posts to rubber band then let's change this to 
duck and uh, let's change the icon to product and let's do this mm. all right so that's it so now let's go back and do a preview here great so now we have that so this is how basically how you create this but now you can edit this if you want this just have to edit here and you can say jumbo admin okay so don't worry about that sorry don't worry about that we look at that uh, in a few so all right you can actually edit that and also you can actually slide a model here you can actually slide a model down there and inside this model we want to add an add categories section so just drop it down there let's expand that and do a category add and add it there so whenever you open this model you just need to see that so model and you can actually just enable this to add category then you can actually use an icon here and uh, uh, no site yeah there we go all right so we have that I'll just do a preview there and you see to open the add category section actually then you can add a new cut submit that and you see we have the new card there so let's go back to home and let's try and make a login system okay so let's go to authentication here remember the table we used we use the table users to make users so let's use the same table users and create a login system actually so let's just choose for the username you're just going to use the name password field use the password field we made use the id and also use the email then set that to photo all right so okay so now we just need to reload that and it should go to the login area remember i created an account for james so we have that so you create an account and then you can log in so since i already created an account let's try and use uh well, let's try there we go so you see you can actually view your account you can actually edit your account change email reset password this is pretty much cool actually so what we actually we need now to see we need to set roles for the admin and also for the user so that we can be able to make a multi dashboard so what we want to do we need to go to pages over here and we actually need to create another table down here and call that table rows okay so not table sorry uh we need to create another field inside the users table so let's go down there and add rows just do that again because it will save once so let's see there we have rows so let's go to rows down here and on the add page let's try and set that to a select and you're just going to enter value here then let's call this admin right and let's call this user right so save that so now in the user register page is what we'll be having all the stuff blah 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 all right so now since we have our authentication system let's come in to laws and permissions so what we want you need to use the same table we used here for the users table and we are going to be using laws so that we can set that so we just have to delete this remove that role remove that role add a new role and call this role admin as we said that and you just need to add a new role and call this role the user now in the admin area we just need to check all since we need the admin to do everything now for the user we just need the user to uh 
to what? We need the user to just view categories. List categories. Don't add, don't edit. Yeah, you can add, but don't edit. Then we need to do view post, and you also need to add post and edit post and also delete post, okay? Then you can do a new post. So, all right, so we have that. So whenever we'll be creating a new user, we're just going to select what they need to actually do. This one will be looking at it very sooner because it's all about user management, what you'll we'll be doing as long as they're assigned to them. And all right, so that's it. You can actually save our project here. That systems and uh, so now let's try and preview this uh, undefined all right let's config uh, okay 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 don't worry about that we can try it first and uh, let's try and uh, load that okay so those informations Uh huh. Okay, this is a pretty funny error for now. So, uh, let me look into it. So, uh, my software don't did it do posing or stuff like that. So let's try and use lols there. Remove that first. Let's see if anything changes. I can't quite see the error there. So let's first uh, remove that rose too. All right, so let's leave that for now. I'll be looking at it sooner. My software now it is paused. I don't know what's wrong with it. So, all right. So I'll be looking at that pretty sooner. So but this that's how that's basically how it looks like so for now guys this is we just made a very simple system very fast real quick and uh i think this is actually something that you can look up to if you are starting with php because actually a very nice software so in case you have any questions guys just put it post it down there i'll be working on the login menu and the user permissions and i'll be loading the uploading that video soon and uh, I think it's about time I upload this and go to sleep. And uh, hopefully, guys, if you have any questions, just ask it down there. And then I'll be more than happy to answer it. So bye for now, guys. See you in the next tutorial.